Good morning, guys. It's Teresa gardening on the West Fork. And today I'm taking you to a garden on the West Fork on the opposite side of the street. This Why is it on the opposite side? It's because right? our street's a little peninsula. So the left side of the street and the right side of the street, the West Fork surrounds it and keeps past, going past us on down to Clarksburg. And so today, we're, Sherry says, I can take you through her garden. She's been there one year. She has a vegetable garden. She has flowers gorgeous seating areas, and wouldn't you love to go to this garden? Look at that river deck she has. So we're gonna head over there right now, and I know you're going to enjoy it. Plus she's got great tips and how she takes care of keeping groundhogs out of her yard and deer out of her yard. So I'll show you those tips when we get over there. So guys, we're in Sherry's side yard, um, heading into the garden, but this is a pumpkin plant uh, vine. She plants this here. Look at this sweet little pumpkin because she has a groundhog and the groundhog, as long as the groundhog has the pumpkin to eat and to play with, he stays out of her other garden. So she plants purposely for certain, you know, animals to keep them out of her vegetable garden. And it looks so much prettier than putting the fence up. Wouldn't you agree? So come on, let's go on down here. She told me a story that last year, the pumpkin got so big, she saw the groundhog just shoving it down in between her neighbor's side yard and in the back. So we're gonna go into the garden from here, Red. So we both have the same deer. She's on the left side of the street, I'm on the right side of the street, but the deer finds our gardens. What she has found is that, and she was telling me, and it's given me a lot of information, a deer needs at least two feet in order to jump into and clear. So what she's done, she has made these decorative place uh decorative <laughs> uh areas where the deer if this if he had two feet to move in here she's taking these beautiful candelabras and it has deterred the deer from jumping in because he cannot jump in here directly of course her arbs are gorgeous lining her vegetable garden and the other thing she's using right here at her gorgeous gate she told me the other day when i came to visit her because i do come down and sit in her yard is her stairs, this is the this way the deer cannot jump over this gate because they do jump in. I'm gonna scoot it away for now and I'll put it back. But come on into this gorgeous garden. This is absolutely beautiful. She has this beautiful stone pathway and patio, but her design is so romantic. I have I love what she has planted this white lobelia in her arbs, and doesn't it just make it look like they're floating in a cloud. I love that. Her design style is so romantic. You know, off her house, she has this gorgeous dining area. This area only gets sun till about two in the afternoon, but it is just gorgeous. The things she's done in a year is unbelievable. She has a shared view of trees with her neighbors and how lovely is that. But what also things she's done, uh, I love her border of this ornamental grass back in here. But Reg, follow me a little bit back in here. <laughs> this is another clever idea to prevent the deer from jumping from that side into this area by putting the string. And these things are working for her. I am so happy because otherwise, you know how deer are, they would eat all the buds off of your roses. She does use a spray too, but she hasn't found them in her yard since she started doing some, some of these beautiful ideas. I love her design. Look at this. This is just so romantic, this light and then her hat. I, I think it's beautiful what you can do in a small space. Of course, um, having a covered area, which is so welcoming and having an existing fireplace, which she does use. This was on the property when she bought it a year ago, but how she plants in all the little nooks and crannies to add such detail. You can do so much with a small space. And I love when I can come into someone's yard and there's a blanket and a pillow because in the evening, this is shaded, like I said, by two o'clock, it just becomes such a beautiful space to sit and enjoy yourself. She has the neatest things decoratively placed under this. Um, and at night, I'm. I'm hoping I'll come back down tonight and see this lit up because the candles, the lights are absolutely phenomenal. 
when uh, you get to sit here. She's also placed three more arbs against this part of the fence, which is beautiful to keep the deer from jumping in, but it will give her a very soft green screen from her neighbor's yard, which is lovely though. I mean, there's just a gorgeous uh, backyards back to back to back. Um, we'll come around this side and you will see that this is the vegetable garden, which is making um, right there, Reg. Those back here, I'm gonna go through here. These are the Roby Rogers green beans that she's given me to try. And I think she said she's picked already off of these, but what a nice backdrop. To have a small area, you can plant the vegetables you like to eat, her tomatoes, her beans. Um, I'm trying, there's uh, peppers um, that she can also decorate with. She's got Cleomies in her garden, hostas in her garden. This, of course, is her beautiful shed that she's placed in here. You can hear water. Sweet little pond, her dog, Roby. <laughs> He's probably inside just going crazy. But uh, he loves to play in the water. Any sound of water is gorgeous. So it doesn't take a big pond, but just the sound of water makes a beautiful garden. And then when you take a look, <laughs> Reggie, over here, this is, this is gorgeous. This is her river deck, and we're going to go down there. We'll take a look at that. It's shaded as can be, so I'll meet you down there. Would you look at this? Oh, the breeze down here, the view down here. She says she does feed the fish from down here, and uh, it is just a magnificent feeling being on the river this close under this gorgeous, this is a poplar tree. I don't, I wonder how old it is, but um, yep, every view on this river is beautiful. I am, you know, what can I say? I sit on my river deck, she sits on hers, and uh, our views are all different. Reg is going to fall in the river if he's not careful <laughs> under that tree. Now, if that's not a peaceful sight, I don't know what is. We are so fortunate to live on the West Fork. And guys, hopefully someday, if you're ever in the area, I'd love for you to come and we'll do the tours of the neighbor's yards that I've shown you from Jim to Sherry now and my own. So thanks for watching Gardening on the West Fork. And uh, we'll see you the next time.